Hi boys and girls, Miss Olivia here. Today we are going to learn that God loves you no matter what. He loves you, period. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. And that's why he sent Jesus. But let's all remember the bottom line is, Jesus is a gift for everyone. Can we say that together? Jesus is a gift for everyone. Our memory verse comes from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. And we'll hear that in our Bible story today. It's chapter 2, verse 8, and it says, God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. Let's stand and sing together to worship God. Everybody up, let's stand, big singing voices. Thank you so much for singing and dancing with me. I love to praise God with music. It is so much fun. All right, let's watch as Rin learns that God loves her no matter what, no matter how many mistakes she's made and how uncomfortable she feels, that he loves her. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. 
the epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verses 8 and 9. Rin grabbed a handful of granola bars from the pantry and tossed them in her duffel as Aunt Dina watched. I don't know if they'll have snacks there. Aunt Dina raised an eyebrow and took a sip of coffee. Is it one of those church camps? I guess. I, I mean, Jess invited me. It's in the mountains. It sounds cool. You're gonna have to shape up, you know. You don't go to church like them. Hey, I don't get in trouble. Rin's aunt grinned and shook her head. <laughs> Whatever you say, hun. Rin's mom breezed in with a rain poncho and handed it to Rin. Come on, Dina. Rin's a good kid and she's gonna have a great time. There's Jess. You go and have fun. It was a three-hour trip up to Camp Hickory. Jess and her mom chattered away, but Rin couldn't help thinking about Aunt Tina's offhanded comment. I do mess up. A lot. Images scrolled through Rin's head like scenes from a film. The times Rin snapped at her little brother. Go away, Keegan. You're such a pain. That time last week when mom shut off Rin's internet access. That is so not fair. And Rin snuck the password off of her mom's phone and that exam where she accidentally saw the answer off of her friend's test and wrote it down anyway? I shouldn't have done that. Hey, Rin, we're almost there. Jess's cheerful voice cut into Rin's thoughts. She tried to smile as she looked out out the window at the winding mountain road and high blue sky. Great! Rin's worries haunted her as they checked in and made their way to the cabin. These kids all go to church. They know the right stuff to say and do. Rin glanced over to see Jess struggling with her oversized duffel and backpack. She decided it was time to level up. Hey, let me get that for you. But you've got... I can do it. Rin staggered toward the cabin, hauling both of their bags. Inside, they met their counselor, Sally. Hey there, I think this is all of us now. I'm really sorry, but the bottom bunk by the door is kind of creaky. We usually draw straws to see who will sleep there. I'll take it. What? Oh, well, that's great. At dinner, Rin looked out for more ways she could blot out the memories of her mistakes. They ran out of cherry cobbler. Here, you can have mine. When Sally spilled her water, Oops, I'll just... I got it. I'll run over to the kitchen and get a towel. After dinner, everyone hiked the half mile toward the outdoor amphitheater for the evening gathering. Rin's eyes darted back and forth, looking for more ways to help. Hey, you can slow your roll now. Sally fell into step with Rin, who grinned sheepishly. This is all kind of new for me. <laughs> me too. It's my first year as a counselor. It's just, everyone here has gone to church forever. They've got it all together. <laughs> Trust me, they don't. I don't. But at least they know the rules, the right stuff to do. Rin, you have been incredibly helpful and kind since you got here, which is awesome. But you don't have to do everything perfectly to fit in. At camp? Yeah, at camp, but also with God. That's what this week is about. Having fun and relaxing, knowing that it doesn't matter who you are or what you've done. God totally loves and accepts you anyway. Rin frowned as she hopped over a fallen log across the trail. I lied to my mom last week. Well, own up to it. She'll still love you, and it sure won't change how God feels about you. <laughs> Not to be all churchy, but can I tell you this verse I love? Sure. It's the first thing I read when my friend Carl gave me a Bible three years ago. God's grace has saved you because of your faith in Christ. Your salvation doesn't come from anything you do. It is God's gift. It is not based on anything you have done. No one can brag about earning it. Christ, that means Jesus, right? Yeah, we'll talk about all that this week, but just know you can't work for God's love. He already loves you completely. Whether or not you lie to your mom or take the creaky bunk or give away your dessert. It just feels like, I don't know, I should have to do something. I know, right? But just letting God love you, that's the most important thing. Doing good stuff comes after knowing how loved you are. Rin took a deep breath trying to take it all in. As the dust began to settle, she saw a large campfire ahead with rows of benches. Jess waved. 
Hey, Rin, we saved you a seat. Rin turned back to Sally. Do you have a place to sit? Go ahead. I'll see you for s'mores after. Rin jogged over to the bench where Jess and the other girls from the cabin were sitting. It was a lot to process, but for the first time all day, she felt like she could relax because she knew there was nothing she had to do to fit in. You see, God had it all planned out that from the very beginning, when Adam and Eve turned away from God, sin entered the world and people's relationship with God was broken. People were waiting for a savior, and that's exactly what God did. He sent Jesus, his only son, to die on the cross to pay for our sins. So let's remember that Jesus is a gift for everyone. All right, boys and girls, let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for sending your son, Jesus, to die on the cross for us so we could have that perfect gift all day, every day, no matter what time of year it is. That gift is there for us. We don't have to only open it at Christmas or Easter. We can open it every single day. Lord, thank you so much for that gift that we don't have to do anything for it. We ask that you bless us and keep us safe till we meet again. In your precious son's name, Jesus Christ. And all God's people said, Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this week. Check out Facebook and Instagram for midweek reflections. And I'll see you next week, right here, same place, same time. Have a great week, everybody. God bless.